Hey, good morning, everyone. Sarasota Tim coming to you from uh, right outside the uh, Panera Bread, where I just made a video about the Sip Club. You guys should uh, take a look at that video and, and do that. But uh, this is the video that I was looking forward to making this morning that um, I had an epiphany today. Uh, I have them often. <laughs> And uh, I wanted to, uh, the name of this video is going to be um, The Reasons I Quit Drinking Today. And so this morning, I got up at uh, 4.20. Isn't that funny? I think the reason I'm getting up early is because of drinking. I think drinking, I don't have to think about it. I know it's true that the sugar or whatever, your mind, you're dehydrated, you're thirsty, you got to pee, whatever. It, it's, you're, you're losing sleep. You're losing sleep you're losing health, you're losing good skin quality, you're losing your gizzards, you are losing, you're depressed, uh, you're, there's nothing good about it. There's nothing good about it, except how great you feel and how wonderful it tastes. So, uh, I don't know what possessed me. I was watching a couple of things. You know how when you watch things, uh, there's another suggested video, they tag it to something else. So I started watching YouTube and I found a channel. He's a Brit, um, handsome guy. I think he's 41, doesn't look like he's over 35. And in his mid thirties. And he's got a beautiful wife and they live over there in London. And he had a title on his video, why he quit drinking. So I started listening to it, you know, how to stop drinking. Now I'm not gonna do this because I've got a lot more strength because I've quit drinking multiple times in my life but his his idea his idea this is why i started watching and, and watch his whole video is for two years him and his wife quit drinking for 30 days and then drank for 30 days so they they played a game where every uh 30 days they got what they called a a golden ticket where they could drink again and it was all about, you know, counting down the days until they could drink again. He talked about how he started drinking when he was a teenager and he loved it. And um, it just became, it consumed him. Ever since the pandemic and a lot of stress started coming on our lives with uh, the economy and uh, losing jobs and all these things, a lot of people drink to suppress their, um, you know, problems. And you listen to this guy, when I listen to him, uh, talk about the benefits and the better sleep. His wife said this too. She made a video as well. I listened to her video. The better sleep, which I look forward to. But I was saying a moment ago, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of people that lost their jobs, they got divorced, they, they just have all these issues. And now this inflation and the housing market and uh, recession looming and all this bad news and the social media people are like addicted to that too the, like striving for a like you know or a, a positive comment because otherwise you know they got a drink if you start it's it's just a spiral you're just going to continue every day there is no um, the, the guy's wife that I was talking about on the YouTube channel she said she looks forward to the day where she can drink a glass of wine and not have another glass for a month, you know, when she's at a party or something like that. But she's afraid that if she had one, and believe me, take it from me, if you have one, you're done. If you try to quit eating sweets and you have one, you're done. You, you either have to give it up or, you know, do it, I guess. You know, and I'm a, I'm a motivated person. I'm like, if you can do it, I can do it. And I already have been motivated to try to lose weight for the longest time. But because of depression, <clears throat> mild depression, you know, just stress, the world, everything that we're all going through, this uncertainty, uh, the, you know, the political climate, everything about the U.S. is enough to make you want to drink. And it makes you want to eat. And I live in a camper uh, where I'm kind of sequestered most of the time. I've been trying to find a job, as most of you guys know, working part time. So I'm just sitting in there. And so out of pure boredom, I start eating and eating too much, eating too often and, and drinking. And it's turned me into something I don't want to be. I've always been cognizant of my appearance. Uh, I'm concerned about what people think about me. 
I'm motivated, I like to make money, I like to do things, I'm outgoing, and I wanna be that again. And I just had this epiphany of, um, <clears throat> man, you're, you're, you're going down the road. My dad, you know, he's, he's dead now. He went down that road, he died of cancer smoking, but he was a full-blown alcoholic. I mean, a full-blown. And uh, they say it's hereditary, I don't know, but it's definitely in my blood. So I'm gonna, you know, begin my journey today and quit. I'm already very motivated. I know I won't drink today anyway. And I know you guys out there that watch my channel, you know my saying, you can't believe a damn thing I say. And, and that is true, it's just a, uh, it's just a saying, but I, I do hope and pray that I can, I can stay with this and for the rest of my life. Not, I'm not going to do the 30 days on, the 30 days off, because, you know, even they said after they did it for two years, like, why didn't we just quit sooner about the dieting? So I started, um, like last night I was starving to death. And the last two days, you know, I did that little uh, wine gig over at Publix, and I didn't have anything all day because I was going to have to wear a... Uh, a bow tie and a shirt and some slacks. And again, I'm standing there. I don't be like this fat slob. So I'm trying to lose all this weight. I started running, you know, about a week before and kind of watching what I was eating, trying to lose all this weight that I need to lose in three or four days. And, uh, but that got me motivated. So, and I have another gig this Saturday and I have to dress up again. And I don't want to have what I have here now, fat jowls and fat stomach and you know, I want to look good, and I want to look slim in my face. I want to, I want to lose some weight. Well, also drinking adds the weight. You know, Tito's and cranberry. That cranberry is full of sugar. They say vodka is the best liquor to drink if you're going to diet, but uh, it's no good. And certainly the food is the main thing. So anybody can lose weight if you stop eating. So that was like the beginning of my journey and motivation that brought me to the drinking thing because I already kind of quit the food. I didn't quit, but I was eating salads and uh, I would have one dinner. I bought this uh, heat and serve uh, pasta or chicken Parmesan. That's not the most dietetic thing to eat. Uh, at Winn-Dixie the other night, it was the only thing I ate all day. And at 4.30, I got a bottle of red and I sat there and I ate the, ate the Parmesan and then drank the wine and it was so delicious <laughs> okay welcome back i'm back in my familiar backdrop here in the forerunner and uh, as i was saying i was making i made the salad kit and i had the wine um earlier uh it was sunday yesterday so i said why not have a glass of wine and i proceeded to drink wine at lunchtime yep so I need to quit. I got a problem. And it's because I'm bored out of my mind. I need a job. I need to quit eating. I need to quit drinking. I need to start exercising. I see. I need to start talking to the Lord more. I need to do a lot of things. I need a change in my life. And I'm going to do it. And um, so this is the, the first day. Some people make these videos, you know, oh, it's been 30 days. I haven't drank or six months. Well, it hasn't been but hours. <laughs> but I'm just letting you guys know. That's uh, what I'm excited about. That's what I'm going to do. And I, I know that the, uh, you know, we reap what we sow <clears throat> because that's the way I'm thinking. And as a man thinketh, so is he. Earth. And this is where I'm at. And I spent a year now sitting in a camper, uh, just kind of like out of my, my loop. I mean, I, my routine was, you know, go to work, make some money, play some golf, hit the gym, you know, I had self-esteem, everything was going along. And I just, you know, uh, lost it all, almost. And before I do lose everything, I have got to turn my life around. And I know a lot of people out there might be listening to me and thinking, you know, I got some issues too. And, you know, I need to turn my life around. Well, then just do it. You know, like they say, just do it. Because it's really all up to you. There is no uh, quick fix, there's no pill, there's no drink, there's no smoke, there's nothing like that that's gonna solve your problems. Use your, your brain when it's in its optimum you know, working order 
and start thinking about what you want and where you want to be, who you want to be with, what you want to do, and just start doing it. Just begin. That's half the battle. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm beginning my journey. That's why and the reasons why I stopped drinking is because I was influenced and I like the, uh, the, the pros uh, versus the cons of everything the guy mentioned in his video. And he really inspired me. And I'm not going to do the 30 days on, the 30 days off, and then in two years from now, quit completely. No, I'm quitting now. I'm going to skip that. I don't have the patience for that. Besides that, I don't see how that could work for a guy like me. Because if I started drinking next month, it'd be all back on again. Well, at least for a month it would be. But then you got to like go into this quit every time. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm quitting all the time. When I quit for the two times for 10 years, I made my mind up like I made my mind up today. But you know what? You can't believe a damn thing I say. Uh, it's it's almost 3,000 subscribers now. So uh, I would like to make that uh, that promotion again and, and present uh, to you guys uh, and invite you to buy me a coffee. I have a, a link in the description box for both my Amazon and buy me a coffee link where you can click on there and buy me a coffee if you like. Because I'm going to be drinking quite a bit of it. Even though I'm getting it for free, you know what the Buy Me Coffee really is. It's supporting yours truly to bring you this valuable content that may inspire somebody. So, anyway, guys, get out there and crush it. Thanks for listening.